my name is Karen Hackenberg, and um, I'm a painter and a sculptor. And uh, I went to school at Rhode Island School of Design originally. I grew up on the East Coast, and um, I have done a lot of creative activities uh, through my life. Um, I studied um, uh, painting, fine art, when I was at Rhode Island School of Design. But then um, in my early years, in my 20s, I, I did a lot of various creative things. I did architectural model building. I was a textile designer for a while, went back to school and studied that. And then it came back full circle and um, ended up starting painting again, um, I'd say about 15 years ago, seriously. I, I tend to notice things that are out of place um, but then I also notice how our human nature is that we don't want to see what, what the garbage that's there. I, I came across a, um, a Tide bottle washed up um, against the bank, and I was pondering, well, why, why is it that I don't, I'm not interested in that Tide bottle? And I, um, I got about 10 feet beyond it, and I thought to myself, oh, wait a minute, it said Tide on it, and it's a low tide. And there happened to be a red tide in the bay. And that was my first inspiration to pose the trash that I find on the beach in um, sort of like, mo they're in some ways monolithic still lives of um, the trash that we like to ignore. We, we don't want to see it. And then start to have a little bit of a, a dark humor uh, on the whole issue of the impact that we as humans have with our lifestyle on uh, nature and wilderness. I, I find the debris um, when I'm walking. I, I carry a bag with me and kind of collect stuff and then muse about some of the ironies. Sometimes they're very obvious and I it's sort of, uh, I, I see a, a hidden message in the packaging or in the label or in the item and, and it's, it's um, seeming out of place there. And then I will either pose the item right then and there, like depending on where the tide line is and the opportunities or the amount of time I have, and then take a whole series. I take a ton of photos because it's sort of hard. I get down very low on the beach, so these objects look really gigantic. And um, because I want them to be very big, like the opposite of how we like to see them as this little thing, to bring attention to them. It goes through a lot of transformations through this whole process. Um, I change it in, you know, from the photo while I'm painting it, but I really, really like bringing the actual place, the sense of place into the painting, the, a, a specific place, and the sense of light um, that's specific to the day or the, or the Northwest where I live. I think it's more of a personal experience. I think that I'm kind of addressing uh, the, the struggle that, that I think we all live with being part of our consumer culture. There, in, so, in so many ways, there's no way to get out of it. Um, everything, with, without becoming a complete aesthetic, everything that we use is, comes in some sort of packaging. And the dilemma of going to the grocery store and trying to figure out how to buy what it is that we want to eat without contributing. And it's been a frustration and an exasperation, and I've had a lot of angst about it all my life. So I started from a personal experience. I kind of, in some ways, purposely didn't collect, connect with the um, scientific um, community um, because I wanted it to come from my personal observation. But then, um, interestingly from that, I find that I find things on the beach and think about it and muse on the ironies and the messages. And then I'm led to do kind of um, pseudo research. Like I find things that I don't know exactly where they come from, even though they might be a product that's common to um, regular um, American life. People um, engage in the dark humor and they really appreciate it and enjoy it and they like um, I mean they're concerned about the issue as well and they appreciate um, the way I approach it with 
as much of the lightheartedness as you can with the subject matter. I find that my best way to communicate is visually, and I've just ma I've made a choice that since that's my skill, like where I really am strong, I've made a choice to use that skill um, that works on many levels. It works for me creatively. I get I have enjoy the. Ex meditative experience of making the piece. I get to communicate my sense of personality and humor, but I feel like any little thing, if, if I have a show and one person, it causes one person to think uh, a, a little bit more about how they are living on the earth or where they're throwing their trash or the choices they make in buying something. Uh, I'm not doing the paintings just for that. Um, it's, I'm doing it a lot about, it's a lot about irony, but I feel that that's my way of taking part um, in the in the discussion and encouraging people without making them feel bad about themselves.